And America's ballooning deficit now sits at just over a trillion dollars just through the first half of the fiscal year. That's according to the latest report from the Congressional Budget Office. So that means the federal government has spent roughly a trillion dollars more than it brought in since last October. The national debt you see on your screen here is nearly uh, $35 trillion. So you do the math, you crunch the numbers, that averages out to roughly $266,000 per taxpayer. And as that number grows larger every single day, well, so do the chances that you'll be paying for it come tax time. Let's bring in our good friend Gary B. Smith, News Nation business contributor, to discuss how this impacts ta uh, taxpayers. Good morning to you, Gary. Always good to have you. Um, what are we in for? I mean, how is what's happening at the top about to trickle down to you and me? It's This is what I would call kind of, as they refer to some diseases, the silent killer. It'd be the same, Marky, as if, you and I are married. We together make, uh, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a year. We spend uh, hundred and twenty thousand a year. We live it up. We have a child, and every year we spend more. And we just say to each other, you know what? We'll just put it on our credit card. And eventually, what we're spending on interest payments, not to just pay off, just on interest payments alone, we look at each other and say, you know what? We don't have enough money for food. We don't have enough money to send our kid to college. We don't have even enough money to pay our rent. In about four years, we're gonna be spending every single dollar we have coming in on our revenues on interest payments. Yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. So, so for American families who are watching this right now, how significant of a spike could we see if, if we're all about to pay the price for it? Well, I think the spike's gonna come two ways. One, we, we the... <laughs> As convenient as it may sound, the government can't take every single dollar that we make in taxes. So what are they going to do? They're going to have to cut into the programs that are kind of what they call the third rail. The big ones, forget, we already spend more in interest payments than we do on national defense, but we're going to have to start cutting into Medicare, Social Security, those entitlement programs. And here's the problem. There is no politician out there who's going to say, you know what? For future generations, forget about Social Security, forget about Medicare. They're going to try as long as they can to push them on, push that uh, discussion on to the next wave of politicians until finally it all explodes. Yeah, and you bring up the, you know, you called it the silent killer. The the country's ballooning deficit and debt. There aren't they aren't new problems. This has been happening year over year. How do you address it? I mean, if you were working with Congress to, to fix the problem, what solutions would you be putting in place, Gary B? It's already, as you point out, it's already a known problem. And because the way our system works, elected officials just want to sprinkle more money on there. There has to be a senator, a congressman, a committee who makes it a, uh, a resolution that we have to try to get toward a balanced budget. The problem, Marky, is that's a losing campaign right there. Everyone, you know, points at the other guy and say, "Well, yeah, that's great. You do it, and you lose your your next reelection." I'll tell you what. There has to be some spine here. We certainly have to get over, uh, you know, any kind of crisis. It's all ballooned, if you will. It's been ballooning, but it ballooned because of all the COVID payments that. Uh, that went out, um, you know, I, I just, it's its a real stumper because just as, you know, no uh, politician out there wants to run on, hey, I wanna be the bad guy now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And especially not in 2024, a lot of lawmakers right. uh, counting the votes and not the dollars. Uh, News Nation business contributor, Gary B. Smith, always good to see you. Thanks for watching everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.